Yo, what up, Kenny Bogus? Taste this. Welcome to another exciting adventure of your favorite show, as well as mine. One of mine, you know what I'm talking about? Kenny's Kitchen with your boy Young Kitchen. That would be this cat. And yo, people, this week got a real good one for you. Nice little hearty situation, man. It's still cold out there. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? What I'm going to share with y'all today with no further ado is a pot pie, chicken pot pie, Kenny's Kitchen style, from Mikasa to Sukasa. <laughs> you about to see it, because we're about to do it right here, right now. Kenny's Kitchen, taste this chicken pot pie. Righteously done. You about to see it. Let's go. Church. Come on. Okay, people. Chicken pot pie. Just a few simple ingredients I got here right now. Of course, I got some chicken. You can get your chicken breast or two. Dice it up. Or you can get an old rotisserie chicken. Leftover Thanksgiving turkey. Whatever you want to uh, use. But I just got it. And uh, chopped it up. Got it ready to go. Got some uh, potatoes here. That's optional. And you can get a whole potato, dice it up. I just got some mini ones, semi-peeled them, and uh, put them in a bowl here. I got a couple stalks of celery, diced up. And I got about a half of an onion, diced up as well. I got some, um, some chicken stock here. And actually, you're going to take this whole box of chicken stock, pour it in a separate uh, pot, you can put it on the medium and uh, get your chicken bouillon cube or two getting started and get that just to kind of maybe about a medium heat and uh, stir it occasionally until that the chicken bouillon has dissolved fully. All right. And that's in one pot. So in another pan, I'm going to meet y'all over there and show you all how we're going to get started. All right. Let's go. OK, so in a nice size pan, uh, we're going to take a half a stick of butter and we're going to let that melt. I got it on like a medium medium low for now okay people I actually brought the heat up to a medium and as soon as that butter melts good we're gonna uh, add these onions to the mix and just gonna move them around and, and you want these onions to get nice and soft so, I got one that uh, missed the dice, I see. That's okay. It's gonna be all to the good. So, we're gonna let these go for a couple minutes. And, man, something about onions and butter, baby. And garlic, too. But just with these onions and the butter, man, it's activate smell o vision, because it's smelling amazing, people. Already. Already. Okay, people, those onions came down kind of soft there. Now we're going to add a little bit of uh, the flour to the mix. I got about a half a cup of flour, but we're going to add it slowly to the mix. Let me grab something else to uh, And we're going to slowly but surely stir that in now to thicken up this onion butter sauce. You gotta, uh, I'm actually gonna turn the, uh, turn the heat back down to a medium low. As I stir this in, cause we wanna take a little bit of time to cook out the flour, the flour taste. You don't want it too floury. So you can take your time, a little bit at a time. As you can see, it's thickening up quite nicely. Add a little bit more. Yeah, starting to get that color, y'all, of what you're looking for. Give me delicious chicken pot pie. Like a little bit more, that's probably gonna be it. I ain't gonna add the whole thing. Well, yeah, what the hell. Just make sure you keep stirring that thing, though. Okay, people. At this point, we're going to add our chicken stock, or you can use vegetable stock, whatever kind you want to it. And I added about, about half of it. And then we're going to give it a stir. Incorporate all this stuff in to get everything nice and thick and beautiful. 
gave it a quick stir and you see how quick it gets thick. So we're gonna add some more to it. Another half of a half. Cause you don't want thin filling in your in your pot pie. You don't nobody want no watery filling. So I, I ain't add the whole thing, so just another half of the half of the of the remaining uh stock. And if need be, add the whole thing. As you can see, see those onions, and that stuff is getting thick. Nice. But that's how we like it. Okay, so next step, we're gonna add our potatoes. Stir them babies in. If you use the potatoes, let's give it a super, super dope filling. We're gonna add our uh, celery to the mix. Give it a quick little stir. Okay, next we're gonna add some veggies and uh, I got some frozen veggies, just some mixed veggies here. And don't worry about it, you can add them just as is because they're gonna, um, they're gonna do what they do. All right, so stir these puppies right on in there. Real good, just like that there. Then, we'll add a little salt and pepper. And give it a taste as well. Um, for this one, I'm gonna add a little bit of white pepper. Maybe about a teaspoon of white pepper to the mix. Give it another stir. Oh yes, people, this is smelling amazing. Okay, people, we're gonna add a little bit of milk or a little healthy whipping cream, maybe about a, about a three fourths of a cup. And it's gonna make the situation real creamy. It's gonna take it to a whole nother level. As you can see, oh man. Bring the heat up to about medium low still. You wanna kind of simmer this thing because we're gonna finish them in the oven once we put them together. So uh, actually, if you want, you can uh, go ahead and preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Oh man, you see that? That's where we going. So last step before we uh, bake this thing, we're gonna add the chicken, baby. Start the young dish. Stir family lamb up in there real good. I think y'all see where we headed with this one, right? So let this go for let let it go for a couple minutes. Give it a taste. Add more seasoning if you need, if need be. And then we're gonna get these boys in some ramekins and show you the next step. Let's go. Okay, next step, you want to get you a pie crust, a piece of crust, whatever, a little dough unroll it you might want to flour your uh, cutting board but this one actually came uh in like a little wax paper which is cool so what i'm gonna do is cut this in half like so then you want to get you a couple uh oven safe ramekins little bowls for your pot pie of course and then we're gonna fill these boys up but we're not gonna go all the way up we're gonna come maybe to the to the little tip these are kind of cool because you can fill them to the rim and it keep it can give you about a maybe quarter inch so they don't spill over so I'm gonna take one at a time, like so, and like so. All right, and the final step, we're gonna take this crust and I try to cut it where it's almost gonna fit the bowl. One over the top here. And then find you a small, like a paring knife, you can kind of cut around that thing for the excess and then just uh, crimp it. And then you just wanna Kind of crimp that thing around the sides. Like a so. Same thing with the other. And like so. 
So we're gonna bake these boys for about 30, 35 minutes on 400. See you at the pullout. All right, people, the pullout, the golden brown, deliciousness. Now I catch y'all at the plate. Let's go. So there you have it, people. There you have it. Chicken pot pie. Pretty chicken style. I know what time of day it is. Let us zoom in on this luxurious crust. Oh, man. And as we zoom out, you know I got to say gratitude. We appreciate y'all for tuning in every week right here on Kenny's Kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Keep on doing what you're doing. Hitting that thumbs up ringing that bell for the notifications, and of course, subscribing if you ain't already subscribed. And of course, tell your peoples and your people's peoples, hit that subscribe button as well. You know what I'm talking about? Drop in the comments what you want to see us do moving forward on Kenny's Kitchen. If it's fly, you know we're gonna give it a try. And speaking of give it a try, let's uh, see if we can penetrate this crust a little bit and see, see if it's really looking like pop pie up in there. Look at that. Look at that. Deliciousness, baby. Oh, man. Mm, mm, mm. Man, we catch y'all on the flip. Y'all be good. Church. There you have it, people. I told you. Righteously done as we always do. The chicken pot pie, Kenny's Kitchen style. This is the part of the show where we loke up. Gotta salute y'all, because I appreciate y'all for tuning in every week. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, what I need y'all to do is share this thing on your social media platforms, whether it be Facebook, IG, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Share that thing. And uh, if you do this recipe or any of our recipes, when you do it, hashtag Kenny's Kitchen, hashtag Taste This, Taste D-I-S. And uh, also, check out uh, TasteThis.com. Be sure to check that out. We got the fly merch on deck, baby. So check it out. Order you some. Tag us when you do. You know what I'm talking about. And uh, we got a lot of stuff going on, man. We're going to catch y'all outside on the flip. It's coming soon. You're going to see the merch, all kind of giveaways. We got a lot of good stuff coming, man. So uh, stay tuned in with us, man. We're going to catch y'all outside, all right? And we're going to catch y'all next week. Y'all be good. Church. Mm -hmm.